Hey everyone, I'm Anna with Amp Equestrian and today we are at the Lucinda Green Clinic. I have Miss Lily here with me this weekend. We are in the Beginner Novice Novice group. I'm super excited. This is a cross country master class clinic. So I'm super excited to get to learning from Lucinda. So let's uh, unpacking and get Lily off the trailer. Okay, so we have everything unpacked and the stall is ready for Miss Lily to come in. We've got her fan hanging, so let's go get her off the trailer. Lily is all settled in and she is watching the current lesson that is going. And so now we're just gonna clean and drop the trailer. And Miss Lily is tucked up and ready to go. She's just getting her final tail brushing and now I just have to get my stuff on. And then we will head out for our show jumping lesson. I'm super excited. Um, the things that I'm hoping to get out of the clinic this weekend are getting her to get a better canter balance and a little bit more rideability in front and behind the fences. Um, sometimes she tends to get really low on her forehand and then she gets longer and flatter as the courses go on. Um, so I'm hoping to get a little bit of help with that especially out on the cross country course when you have long gallop lanes um she tends to just towards the end of the course start leaning on me and then i can't really get her up off the forehand so let's see if we can get some help so let's go get on First thing was Lucinda wanted to see our gallop position and see how stable we were to make sure that if a horse was to spook or something crazy happened, we would stay on. Next, she wanted to see our straight line halts from the canter. Lily was actually pretty good at this because I do this a lot at home. So we just did a super collected canter straight into a halt. Okay, so for the first course, we were supposed to jump around in almost a hunter position and try to turn our horses off. Lily was not very good at this, but she got better as it went on. So now in our first jumping course, we can start riding like we normally do, sitting up and pushing them up to the fence. But I did not realize that until like halfway through the course. So I'm still in the ugly hunter position. Um, so here we're actually gonna work on a little bit of technicality as well. We have three jumps set up and we're gonna jump them as an in and out working on keeping our horses straight because you only have about four to six feet of a width to jump them which was really good for the young horses especially and then a sharp bending turn to this little angled offset line Lily was awesome right on it and she gave me a lovely flying change so here we're trying to get Lily to bring her head up a little bit more and look at the fences so Lily was pretty good on the first course, so on the second course, Lucinda has increased the difficulty and she really wants to see me try to get Lily's balance up on her hind legs and keep her head up and looking at the fences, which is a little hard because she's so well schooled on the flat that she just goes right onto the bit, but I have been working on it a little bit. so. As you can see there, I took a little bit of a pull on her in the corner, and I'm just kind of playing around with ways to get her to look up at the jumps while the difficulty is still hard. And here we come to an angled line with bounces, and she has never done that before, so I was very happy that she just went right in that. And then a hard turn to the right, I mean to the left. And now we're gonna do this angled line backwards. That was okay, she just tripped. And here, her head, she finishes with her head nice and high in the air. We're very happy with that. And then straight line halt at the end of the course. Lucinda really liked using the straight line halts at the end of every course. It really did help with getting them back on their hawks and listening and rebalanced. And I'm definitely gonna keep using that in the future. So with this course, the difficulty level has been increased. We jumped the, um, bounces on an angle the other way to a skinny and then we and hand galloped that oxer and we're going to hand gallop all the way around the arena and then when we get to the other side we have to shorten the horses up and bring them back 
for the little Cavaletti skinny in the middle of our V. So here you can see Lily's little Fitbit fussy and fighting me. And then we go to a straight line halt because we're at the end of the, every course. Once again, we're going to increase the level of difficulty and the um, requirement of accuracy by starting with the angle bounces straight to your bar and then inside turn on that vertical, but then go around the outside of this oxer and we're going to jump the point of our V again, but then we have to hand gallop to a triple bar. Lily jumped that really well, and then she's not quite off my leg extremely well here, and jumps a little bit strange over the triple bar, but in her defense, she has never seen a triple bar before, so I'm very happy with that. And then now we're schooling the little skinnies, and Lily has also never jumped a skinny this small, so I'm very happy with how she just marched right in and jumped those. And now we do the angled line with the skinnies. And again, she was so honest and on it. I'm very happy with how she jumped that. So now we're going to jump the skinnies backward. And then we're going to go around the arena and jump our Cavaletti skinny with the V poles on it the other way. Now this is going to be much harder. And again, Lily has never seen any of this before. And she's getting a little tired and hot. So I'm getting some sass from her. But... Um, I was excited to see how she jumped this, and she was awesome. I was very happy with her. So I guess Lily's a little bit tired. She's, <laughs> she's been, to she's been laying like this for two hours. She's starting to get up, and then she's like, "That's too much effort." Hello. <laughs> like, I I'm love so the halfway getting up yeah, leg. She says it's too much effort. How are you going to get up, girl? Yeah, you can think oh. about it. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so today is cross country day. I'm super excited to take what she's learned in the show jumping out here today. Um, the things I'm hoping to improve again is still the same um, balance issues and then her leaning on me on the bridle. Um, it did get a lot better yesterday, so fingers crossed it carries over today. So. Let's do some cross country jumping. So for cross country day, we started the same way as we did in the show jumping. We had the thought of trying to turn our horses off mentally. Just a nice, small, quiet gallop around, jumping small fences in our hunter position. Very quiet, no, no big moves, just stay the same, keep the same rhythm. Just get them nice and relaxed before we introduce hard stuff. So then we came to the water jump and we just had a nice trot through here and jumped right between the barrels so the horses were familiar with going in and out over an obstacle. Now we're going to turn around and trot back into the water between the two barrels and then do a straight line halt. So we start building that rideability and then a nice quiet walk over to these up bank down banks and you just walk right up and then walk right down. Let the horses see what they're doing this time and figure out exactly what's being asked of them. Lily was quite impressed with that. <laughs> and then we went back and did the same thing the other way. And then there's also another bank on the other side of the water complex that we're going to do the same thing but at the trot. And Lily got much better as we went on. She's still a little skeptical, but that's okay. So now we're going to introduce a little course here. We've uh, added the barrels closer together, and we've already jumped up and down those, but I don't have video of that. So now we're adding it to a course. We jump out over the barrels and then come around, and we're going to jump this little log inside the water. Lily has never done a jump in the water, so I was not quite sure how she was going to do, and she actually was quite good about it. And then just a nice canter to a small easy fence that we've already jumped a couple times to help the horses regain their confidence, which Lily's already hunting the fences, so that was not a problem. So now for the next course, we're going to canter up and down both of the banks on either side of the water complex. Lily was not too sure about going this way um, because the golf carts were right in front of us. But I think it was really good for her to focus on her job, even when something is scary and distracting her. So I was actually really happy that the golf carts were there. 
So now we're going to come around and jump our barrels into the water and then go out over an up bank out of the water. Again, she's never jumped a jump going in or an up bank going out, so I was not sure what to expect, but she actually did really, really well, so I was very happy with her. Now we're going to do another course backwards, this time over the bank, so you can kind of see the golf carts there, but they've moved back since the first course. Um, Lucinda really wanted us to actually keep our canner here for Lily um, because she kept popping down in the trot and that was too easy for her. At this point, she knew what she was supposed to be doing. So um, I had to really keep my leg on. And then also on this course, Lucinda wanted me to really focus on picking her head up and bringing the balance uphill for the two jumps. So I had a little bit of a fight, but she actually jumped way better into the water this time. And then again, way better coming out of the water. So it was very effective. And now we're just gonna make a nice little loop around and jump the log that's inside the water going the other way. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult for Lily since it's so close to the front of where the water starts. Um, again, so pulling her head up and picking up that balance and saw a nice shot over it and she jumped fantastic. Okay, so we've already walked over the ditch each way, so now we're doing a nice quiet trot over the ditch in this small skinny, and now we've got a little bit more of a course, so we've got a skinny to a ditch to another skinny, and Lily was super good. Um, she's never seen skinnies this small on cross country, so I was actually really happy with her and how straight she stayed. Now we have a, a added difficulty to a log after this third element, so skinny, ditch, skinny, log and that was very difficult for her but i'm really really happy with how she did and then that's just us taking a nice little break in the shade since it's very hot in texas in the summer so now we're gonna have a try going the opposite direction this was much harder for us having to turn to the ditch but we got it done and lucinda was very impressed that we got it done because she said most of the time when you're that far off of your fence you can't get back to it but Lily did, and so I'm very happy with her for being so honest. So now we're going to the bigger ditch, which Lily was unfazed by, and now the coffin, which she was a little bit too bold on, but that's okay. She's never jumped a half coffin before. Okay, so now we're at the mounds, which Lily has also not done before. I was very happy with her. I loved how Lucinda set up the jumps right on the downhill of it. I saw a jump like that over a badminton this year and was really wanting to try to practice that and I'm glad we were able to introduce Lily to it at such a young age. Um, I also am loving how she's cantering up the hill and staying balanced and now we're just coming around and making it a little bit difficult and she just took a leap off the top which is totally fine. And then we just finished the day off with a nice canter over the chicaners. Lily was such a good girl. It's kind of hot, so she's drinking her water, but I'm just over the moon with her. She couldn't have been any better. She did so many things she's never seen before, and she just answered all the questions like she had seen it a million times. So I am really happy. Um, Lucinda really helped me with keeping her head up. That really helped with her balance. And I'm just over the moon. Couldn't be any happier. Anything is possible. See you next time.